Ladies, I'm gonna be honest with you on this video. I usually come in pretty high energy, but I have taken a little bit of a break. You guys might have noticed that the pace slowed down on Instagram uh, because I'm really just kind of observing the state that we are in. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I really think that we are in a state of crisis. Starting back in the 1960s, there was this free love movement. And the thing is, is that free love isn't free at all. It comes with a big, big price tag. Everything has gotten topsy-turvy because as everyone knows, there is sort of a barter system. Women want commitment in marriage and men want sex. And so when that became unbalanced, when men were able to get sex without marriage, it has really thrown things off. My name is Yancy. Welcome to my channel, Chasing Yancy. On my channel, I cover all things love, dating, sex, and relationships. If these are the types of topics that interest you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I invite you to hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I drop new content. As mentioned, I want to talk to you about the imbalance that exists today. And I know that I have a mix of audience members. I have younger women who have yet to really experience too much dating. And then I have older women who have seen a lot. And I want you guys to remain encouraged, but I also, like I said, want to be a realist. And I want to let you know that as much as I hate to say it, a lot of the weight and the responsibility falls on the shoulders of women. Whatever we require from men, that is what they will do. If we require the most minimal effort, that's what they'll give. If we require a lot of effort, that's what we'll give. But we have to work together. And I know it could feel like, well, you know, I'm just one person, what difference does it make? But the thing is, is that somebody has to come out here and lead this revolution. I saw a post the other day of a woman, she looked like she was almost gonna break into tears. And she was just saying how discouraged she was, how toxic the dating pool is right now. And there were, I think she posted it four days ago, there were almost 2000 comments. People just, woman after woman saying, I'm so discouraged, I've just stopped dating, I'm over this, I'm done. And it's really easy to have a pessimistic attitude because things are pretty rough out there. I'm not gonna act like they're great. But I wanna say that for the next generation, I think that we absolutely need to one, raise the bar now, but we need to teach our daughters these important things that a lot of times fathers in previous generations taught the daughters. So I'm gonna share with you four tips that every woman really needs to keep in mind if she's gonna be successful out here in the dating world. Number one, you must know your worth. I know for me, I grew up just dreaming about the day that I would get a man. And I really didn't put any thought into my life outside of a man. So it made everything hang on this contingency that I had to be married. I don't want someone to go to the extreme where they picture their life without a man, if that's something that you want. But I also want people to recognize that it's possible to have a rich and full life while you are still single. The happier you are when you're single, the less you'll be willing to compromise when a guy comes along who doesn't fit your standards. Make sure that your life is as awesome as it humanly can be without a guy there to make it that way. Number two, don't expect every single guy you meet to be the one. If we have these really high expectations or we're overly excited about getting in a relationship, the second a guy passes the initial test, we're gonna get way ahead of ourselves. We have to really slow down and get a chance to get to know this person to see if he even fits our standards. The problem is, is that a lot of women haven't even taken the time to put their standards down on paper, really think it through. By the way, if you don't know what types of things you should have as realistic standards, I invite you to watch my course, Make Dating Fun Again. The link is in my description of my video. But it's important for you before you even meet the guy to know what you will and will not tolerate. What is a deal breaker? What are preferences? That way you're not just super excited to have a guy. You're worried to see if he is the right guy for you. Number three, you need to be okay with men leaving. For a lot of women, they take it really personally when a guy dips out. But think about you. There are guys who you enjoy being around, others not so much. Sometimes a man has a very specific thing that he wants. Maybe he wants more kids and you don't. Maybe you want kids and he doesn't. Uh, maybe your jobs have different schedules that don't allow you guys to be compatible. Or maybe he met someone else who he's just vibing with a little bit more. We have to be okay with knowing that this is just a process of getting to know the other person. And it's okay if this guy leaves. 
it's not always a reflection on you being a bad person. A lot of times it's just you're not a right fit for him. There are other times where a guy might see you and go, man, she's out of my league. I really have to get my life together. I don't really think I can offer her anything that would be really great. And sometimes he'll just eliminate himself. You have to get it out of your mind that you are always the problem if somebody leaves. Number four is kind of tied into number two, but it's slow down. I did an entire video on this called the 90 day discovery phase. And I think it's really important, especially in the first three months, because that's when all the chemicals in your brain are firing off and you're kind of in that honeymoon phase of dating. Uh, it's important during that time to really be objective and see if you guys have enough in common. See if you guys have similar goals, similar values. Um, do you want to have the same things? Like, do you want to raise kids? Do you want to have kids? Do you already have kids? What's your parenting style like? There are so many things that you have to get to know. And obviously you want it to be organic. You don't want it to feel like an interview. So it takes a little while to get all this information. But make sure you're taking the time to get the information and you're not just all googly eyes staring at each other from across the table. Now, I know I said four, but I'm actually going to give you five. Number five is always keep improving. One of the things that men talk about is the fact that there are a lot of content creators who just say things that women want to hear. And I don't want to be one of those people. I think that it's important to speak to women who have their stuff together and let them know where the bar should be. However, I'm not naive. I know that there are some people who still need to do a lot of work. And so I want to encourage you to always keep improving. The obvious stuff is your exterior, which a lot of people talk about, of course, be in the best shape that you can get in, make sure that you take care of yourself, do your best to look presentable. You don't have to look like Miss America, but do your best to uh, make yourself look as presentable on the outside as possible because we're all humans, right? We wanna be attracted to what we see, but also don't neglect what's happening inside. A lot of people these days are getting therapy. They're working through their childhood wounds. They are working through a lot of the issues that they have. If you're not happy in life, figure out why. Start to get that life that you love. But always keep improving on yourself, just like you would want the guy to do. You will want him to always be the best version of himself. On top of that, this will give you more things to talk about when you do meet the guy. I hope these tips have been helpful. Again, as I mentioned before, if you like this type of content, subscribe to my page and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I drop content. Also, if you need a little boost when it comes to your dating life, make sure you sign up for my course, Make Dating Fun Again. And if you're not on my email list yet, do so now because I'm gonna be notifying you very soon of my second course that is coming. It's another course on dating, a lot of the pitfalls that many women fall into. This is good, solid advice that a dad would tell his daughter if you had a great dad in your life. Until next time, tell someone that you love them. And I hope it's super obvious just how much I love you.